What's up? This is T Briz from Briz Beats. Today we are going to make a simple but amazing sounding string and brass section using FL Studio and Spitfire Audio's BBC Symphony Orchestra, the free version. The concepts we're going to learn in this video can be applied to any DAW though. So if the topic interests you but you're not using FL Studio, don't worry and stick around anyway. Okay, so I'm going to start by showing you the final string and brass section that we're going to make today and a couple of tracks that I applied it to to showcase its versatility. It's going to be one hip hop track and one heavy rock slash metal like track. Stay for the string section even if you don't care about hip hop or metal. Here is the example. First, I'm going to play the five MIDI tracks that are our string and brass section alone by themselves. So you can hear that. Here we go. Now let's play the string section uh, with the rest of the chorus part of this beat around it so you can hear how that sounds. I also want to show a quick example with a hard rock like metal track, so let's do that. Okay, so in this example, I printed the five MIDI tracks down to one audio file. It is the same string section as the other example that we just played. So here's the string section again. Let's play without the strings and I'm gonna pop the strings in so you can see the difference sound that the strings add to this track. Okay, there you go. We're not going to make both of those entire songs, but I just wanted to play the string section in its final form and apply to a couple different examples to give you an idea where we're going with this and why we're doing it. We're about to start the tutorial, so enough of that intro. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got a project going. I got my whole beat set up. Here's a quick little sample so you can see I got the beat playing in the background. My original creation process consisted of building the string section around this beat so I kind of already had the main notes set up that I wanted to use but I'm going to start by adding a bass string that pretty much follows the same pattern of the root melody. Let's listen for it. You can hear it when I'm singing along with it what the root melody is and what I wanted to do is start by just adding some a bass string part that will use that root melody. So first of all, we go into BBC Symphony Orchestra. This is a Spitfire Audio plugin, it's free. Go ahead and just Google Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra free version and it'll tell you how to get it. I think you gotta sign up and actually wait a few days, something like maybe even a week or two until they actually give you the code to unlock it. But it is free, you just gotta wait for it a little bit. So what we have here selected is the bass string. And on the interface, you wanna click over here in this green section to select your basses. And uh, we have the long technique selected here. You can actually change it in this plugin, but I'm not gonna really be going over the whole plugin today. Just the things that we used to create this simple string section. The bass string selected, we're gonna close out of this. We're gonna go into our piano roll. Okay, so finding the root melody that I wanted to work with and then pasting these notes in here, this is what we got. Sounds exactly like the notes I was humming before. So if you've noticed, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm building the string section within the confines of this one single pattern I named it strings. And I'm gonna play it so we can listen and see if we can hear a little bit of a difference now. You can already hear it in the background.
Great. Now let's build the next part. Um, I chose the Celli. I guess the Celli is maybe a smaller version of the cello. If you're picking up on it, I am not a classically trained musician in the traditional sense. So when I see Celli, I just think Celli must be a tiny cello because it's, you know, Celli. It sounds smaller and cuter. <laughs> Anyway, let's take the celli, let's use the long technique. Now let's build those notes. So basically my strategy here is going to be, I'm just gonna thicken up the same exact notes that I use for the bass notes on the bass string, uh, but we're gonna put them up an octave higher. So these two instruments are gonna be playing octaves and it's just gonna thicken up the sound. And since the bass string's a lower instrument, it's gonna have the lower sounding notes and then we're gonna go up an octave higher because the cello but the celli is the higher sounding instrument. So let's actually just go into bass string, control A, control C, copy all these notes. Let's uh, go into the piano roll on the celli, control V to paste them in here. Then we're gonna hold control and hit the up arrow key. And you'll see we have the same exact notes. They're just up an octave and you can see the bass notes from the bass strings that we have here. Now let's listen to the two of these together. Great, you can hear how it's getting fuller already. We're starting to sound like a real strings section. We're gonna do violins next. Okay, so for the violins, we're gonna to wanna to go in here to Spitfire Audio and we're gonna select the string section and we're gonna pick violins. It's over here, we click that. We're also still just using the long technique. Now that we got our violin selected, we go to piano roll. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this. Um, the violins are not gonna perfectly match, but they actually could. If you wanted to be very simple with this and just get a string section to pop in there, you could just do what we did with the cello and the bass, and you could add another matching pattern that's up, to no, an, up another octave. We're gonna do something a little bit more interesting though. So I think we're gonna take this note, <clears throat> and that, we're gonna put that one up one octave. I like that. But instead of going down on the next note, let's add a little harmony that's different from the octave harmony. I believe this note should work. Let's listen. There you go. So if I were to take, let's see, if I were to take this note and go up here, I would be copying it. But instead of going to D sharp five, we went up to A sharp five. It's got a nice sound to it. And then we're gonna come down again here. And then let's go. So instead of doing like we did with the other notes and copying and pasting, I'm trying to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, this is where a lot of other YouTubers um, that do tutorial videos might start explaining to you the music theory behind something like this. And I've been playing music for 20, 25 years. I still don't know music theory. I listen for what sounds good. For instance, if I wanted, what I'm going to do is we're going to turn this into a chord, right? So how I would do that is just find what sounds good with this note. So I know just from experience that this won't sound good, but watch. It sounds very dissonant. If we wanted to make a horror movie, you can feel that. Without knowing any music theory, you can play this and just listen. It sounds like something evil's about to happen. It sounds like there is a, a bad guy lurking in the background, you know, and that's, that's not the sound that we're going for right now, but I'm trying to feel it. And there's a feeling I'm going for. Let me keep moving it up. I think the note I actually want is right around here. Um, let's see. There we go. So that would be my tip is if you don't know music theory like I don't, um, just play and find the notes and listen to it until it feels right. This one feels right to me. And I think we're gonna go here. And then let's do this. I believe this is what I'm looking for. Let's take a listen. I like that. Now let's listen to just the violin so you can hear what we just did here since it's a little different.
Great. I mean, that sounds great on its own. This Spitfire audio plugin sounds amazing and I love it. We're going to add a little bit of flair to this too because I want something to, uh, to happen. I'm hearing something in my head. Okay, so I drew in the notes. I listened and I felt them out to where I wanted them to be and this is what I came up with. It didn't take me that long because I kind of had it in my head and I was just trying to find the notes, so... There you go. On its own, it sounds beautiful. Now let's hear what it sounds like with the rest, the, the cello and the bass string. And I'm just gonna say cello because I it just naturally comes out of my mouth instead of celli. I don't even know if I'm saying celli right. That's amazing. And that's our string section right now. This is a very simple three instrument string section. It's got the bass, the cello, and the violins. Let's add some horns to it to thicken it up a little bit more because we are doing a string and brass section. But we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do two more. So here's Spitfire Audio. We got the uh, horn section. The horn section that we have selected is right here. Again, we're just using long for everything because we're starting simple today. You know what we're going to do with the horns just to keep this very simple? We're going to do the same thing that we did with the bass string and the cello. We're going to hit Control A. We're going to copy these notes. Control C from the celli, the cello. We're going to paste them into the horn section. Now they're playing the same exact octave, the same exact notes as the celli. But I'm going to hit Control Up. And now it's up another octave. And we're going to put our horns right there. And then now let's listen to what, what that sounds like. Here's our horns. It's almost hard to hear because it's adding and it's complementing, but it's not standing out and overpowering. So when we play it on its own, we can hear it. And then when we play with everything else, now you should be able to hear it a little bit better. I mean, we could even move this note around somewhere else. I feel like... So that note would work well there as well. Um, I'm gonna put it back where it was. It was just an octave up. So really, I'm just playing with octaves again. Let's leave it where it was. Let's keep it simple. Let's move on. We got the horns. Let's go to the trumpets. We click on trumpets. I'm using brass trumpets A3, which is over here. You click that. We're using the long technique again. I think that's the default technique when you load up in here anyway. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different with my trumpet. I'm gonna start my trumpets right here on uh, D6. I want this to rise up. I don't know why, I'm just feeling the horns. Everything else kind of follows a, a, a certain melody, but I want the horns to rise up and get higher as we go through each section. This next note already does go higher. Da, da. How about we go higher? Da, da. That sounds good. So we got that climbing trumpet now to contrast a little bit with the other ones and it blends well with those harmonies if you ask me to my ear. Okay, great. That's it. That is the string of brass section. And we played it at the beginning of the video, but here it is again. So I have a little bit of mixing going on down here. My uh, bass string is right up the middle. My celli is panned over to the left just a little bit. The violin is panned over to the other side, to the right just a little bit. 
and it looks like I put the horns over to just to the right just a little bit. One of the things I try to do is they sort of have, they show you where these instruments would be in this BBC Symphony Orchestra. They can show you the section of where each instrument would be playing. Um, sometimes I use this as a guide to say, okay, if the trumpets are over here, sort of up in the top right, you could use this as a guide to where you should pan your instruments if you wanted to have a little bit of a starting point. Or just start panning things. Put them where you think they should go and listen. And if, when it sounds good and it, it just sounds cool and it clicks in your head, like, yeah, I like that there. Leave it there. Move on to the next thing. You're good. Um, so that's it. This is our string section. We made it. Um, I already showed the beat at the beginning of the video. As a quick little bonus, I'll show you that since we built this all in one pattern, if you wanted to take this and have the separate patterns the way I actually have it set up in the song over here on this side, you could do right click, you could go to split by channel, and that's gonna take this string section that we have here, and we have one pattern named strings with five channels in it, and it's actually gonna break this out into five separate patterns. Then you would be able to do like this. Your bass string would be separate. Your celli would be separate. You got your violin separate. You got your horns and your trumpets all separate on the separate patterns. So that way then you can arrange and you can take out the trumpets and the horns for some parts. Then you can put them back in for the next part. And it makes your arrangement so much better by having all these things separate here. So you'd want to do that at some point. But for the sake of just building the section, there it is. And now let's listen to it in the beat. Okay, so that's it for a simple string and brass section. I think that sounds pretty epic. And as I demonstrated in the beginning of the video, I took that string and brass section, I put it into this hip hop track that I'm working on, and then I put it in a heavy metal track that I'm working on, and that thing would work in so many other different genres of music, so type tracks that you can take this exact string section that we made from this video and build your own song around it if you want. In fact, I encourage you to do that. It would be a great exercise. So make the string section and go use it in one of your songs, use it in your music and have fun with it. That is it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I ask that you please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, go check down in the description. There is a link to T Briz Briz Beats. That's the channel where I post my music on a regular basis. I would appreciate you following me there as well. I appreciate the support. I don't really have much else to say except, you know, see you next time. Thanks, guys. Peace.